Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Turson, the Legislative Advocacy Manager for Riverkeeper, and it's a pleasure to be joined today by Senator Pete Harkem, representing New York's 40th Senate District. And we're here to honor the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and we are really grateful to have you with us today. Thanks, Jeremy. Pleasure to be here. So it's been 50 years since the first Earth Day when people across the U.S. came together to fight for a healthier planet. Now more than ever, people are relying on the natural world as a source of calm and health. Can you please share what Earth Day means to you? Sure. You know, Earth Day today has, for me, much more urgency than it did 50 years ago. You know, back then it was, it was about consciousness raising, and, and it was much more innocent in a sense, that there was a collective understanding that pollution was bad for the planet and bad for us. Um, but today we are flooded with so much hard data on a daily basis and the damage that we're doing through climate change, through herbicides, pesticides, other industrial chemicals, um, through some of our other land use policies. So there's really much more urgency now for Earth Day uh, to me than there was 50 years ago. You've been an environmental champion. What environmental policy are you most proud of or most excited about accomplishing in the near future? I, I think there are, there are two. Um, one was when I was a new county legislator and we came together with the towns, the villages, the state, the city, um, and all kinds of regulatory agencies uh, to pass a septic inspection law for the MS4s. Um, and while it was not um, a dramatic, uh, earth-shattering event, it really showed me uh, that collectively working together in a bipartisan way, we can tackle tough policy issues. So that was an eye-opener for me, and I, I was proud that we got that accomplished. Fast forward, um, I think what we passed last year, uh, the Community Leadership and Climate Protection Act, because that was much more uh, broad, much more expansive, um, and it said to me that, that there really is a willingness um, to think big, to act big, to change our systems, um, and to force ourselves uh, to have discipline and really change the way uh, our economy runs, how we live, and yet provide clean, safe energy at the same time. Thank you. Well, on behalf of Riverkeeper, I would like to thank you for joining us to share your thoughts about this 50th anniversary of Earth Day. And I hope you stay safe, uh, and we will talk soon. And you as well, and look forward to getting back to Albany to work with you. Thank you. Thank you.